Well, it's December 7th. It is our work Christmas party. So uh, I'm all dressed up. I'm heading into work right now. Oh, Rocky's here. But yeah, so we're going into work right now. I'm gonna go in through the back, lock the door because we're closed now. But yeah, so you'll see some stuff from our party. Bye. Yeah, you can get out now. <laughs> so, we've talked about having to put the skidoos up on the trucks. You also have to get them down off the truck after you put it up. And this is a 900 Ace, 700 pound machine. Uh, there's two and a half of us because Wilbert is a half. <laughs> there, there is another one here bigger than this one with an 800, 800 pound one. But heavier than this one. How am I going to get that cap out of there? That's fairly far down. <sighs> yeah, this is going to be fun. Yeah. It might be snowy out. Oh, yeah, is it nice? Yeah. So, I feel like shit. It's like almost 11 o'clock. I just rolled out of bed. My daughter's been laying beside me watching TV. Uh, part of the problem with living in the Arctic is doctors. You guys can go to a family doctor or to a hospital or to this and that. We have a nursing station that has like one, sometimes two nurses. Um, not a lot they can do if you get sick and if you need meds, you're either waiting for a doctor to come or you're getting given aspirin and Tylenol and stuff. Um, some communities have a hospital. PUV had a hospital. There was like five doctors always there. Um, and a mental health doctor and all that. Here they rotate in. Uh, so every once in a while there is a doctor in town. Uh, but there isn't a pharmacy. All your drugs are sent up from the south. So if you go and you're sick with something that needs antibiotics, you have to wait to get said antibiotics. I'm dizzy. I'm weak. I have a cough that when I cough it's like somebody stabbing me in the chest and nobody's in the nursing station today so let's just get through it and see how we feel tomorrow but yeah we don't feel good today <coughs> anyway i gotta go out and uncover a skidoo because my wife sold one yesterday so we gotta get dressed and go do that so it's december 10th there is a lot of snow i'm unburying all the skidoos this one is the one that just sold so i gotta get the windshield on it and get it out. Uh, I only unburied the front end of some of these because there is so much fucking snow that until I get rid of some of these so I can spread the snow out, it's it's kind of hard to unbury it. But we have a Grand Touring at the end, then a Scandic EFI. Grand Touring 600 Ace, Scandic EFI 600, uh, Renegade 600 EFI, uh, Tundra, 600 ace i do not i think that's just the one up tundra uh, another renegade efi 600 another scandic efi 600 a expedition 600 efi expedition le 600 efi another renegade efi 600 and then two more grand touring 600s so yeah we uh we just gotta finish all this you can see i have my snow brush because i use the snow brush just it helps get some of the stuff out of the uh, the fan. Anyway, let's go. 
Oh, one other thing is uh, most of the EFIs, because I've, I don't know a lot about EFIs. We never sold any in the Arctic. And they are, uh, I've only ever had ACEs or ETEX or CARBs. Um, I hear they don't have a reverse. So you'll notice almost all the EFIs are in uh, in backwards because I lifted the back end and pulled them into space. Uh, lifted the back end so that nothing was going against the track. Um, these two I drove in and they're both EFIs. Now I've read online that EFIs actually have a reverse. So I'm going to have to look and see if I can figure it out. Because if they do, I just got to, you know, shovel a path to the low snow and then I can just back up and I'm done. I'm um, hoping that it actually has it like I've read. Okay, so the windshield's on, so we're going to go inside and find our bag of keys and come and find out which key starts this guy and try and get him out. And, uh, yeah, Rocky came to visit. Hey, Rocky. So here's all five keys. Unfortunately, the people that ran this store before us didn't mark any of them as to which was which, uh, so you got to go figure it out yourself. And who wants to do that? So for reverse, you turn your key again. There's no weight on it, so let's see if we can make it move back. I don't think we can. Oh, we moved a little bit. Okay, we got more snow to move. Okay, we can do this. So David came in, got his skidoo. It is now on. Um, and a guy that was in training class with us when we started in this job in 2019, who no longer works for the company, actually works here in Deer Lake. He is, uh, he's a cook for the construction company, for the construction camp. And he brought me an entire bag of baked goods for, uh, for Christmas. What the wife doesn't know, she didn't count what was in the bag. Mm-hmm. That's right. Fuck, he's a good baker. <laughs> Okay, bye. It's beautiful out today. Um, what is now? December 10th? December 11th? Something in there? Um, well, it's a Sunday. I don't even know what day it is anymore. Uh, I have my gloves on because I'm working on the skadoos. But other than that, just in a sweater. Um, it's maybe minus four today. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I only unveiled one of my renegades. I don't know if I'm going to do more. Um, yeah. You know what? Let's talk about the renegades. Let's do that, eh? So here you go. They're Supras. Oh, Milo's here. Hey, Milo. So I'm not a big fan of the Supras. I'm really, really not. Um, they're just... They're small little machines. Yeah, they're more for just having fun than anything else but I just I don't care for them first and foremost what good is this windshield that windshield doing nothing it's blowing the wind right into your face like if I was to sit on here okay I'm sitting that's where the wind is hitting me like that's just it's not doing anything and on top of that this seat is not made for a guy like me either. Like, I, uh, to per properly sit on it, I would want to be, well, like, they kind of want you to be back here. And uh, it just doesn't feel right. And if you sit up here, it doesn't feel right either. It's just not a, it's not a machine for me. I mean, like I said, they want you to be sitting way back here, but it just, just doesn't do it and then the uh, tr the skis the skis well here you can see it from the back the skis are tiny everything about this machine is tiny it is light so and it is one of the cheaper machines you can buy I just I don't like the Supras the the sport renegades not not my thing at all so I didn't put together the Grand Tourings yet but you guys have all seen the Grand Tourings um, Scandic EFI, Renegade Sport, Tundra Ace, even the Tundra Ace, it's, 
it has a little bit better of a windshield than that guy, but not by much. That's a shitty windshield too. Another Renegade Sport. Another Scandic. Another Scandic EFI, uh, which are really pretty machines. If they weren't two-stroke, I'd be all about them. Um, another Renegade, and then the, the two more Grand Tourings over there. That's what we have left.